What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Here we are after election night. And yes, Donald Trump is our president. A lot of you guys are probably freaking out. A lot of the nation is probably surprised. I'm going to share my thoughts about it. Also some hypothetical situations as well. So stay tuned for that. Before we get into that though, I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things. Number one is if you guys see a video that we post, um, usually it's a very short video and it just tells you guys that we're live on Twitch. That's just so you guys can come on over to the Twitch and support us by watching, earn beat bucks, which then get you guys raid runs and trials runs and get to play with us, get to learn, you know, our PvP secrets. A lot of you guys think we're crucible gods. We're not gods, but you know, we we played the game a lot to know what it takes and you know the strategy. So all it is is to help to get you guys to come over, us help you guys out, and you guys help us just by watching. A lot some of you guys support by donating and we really appreciate it. Um, but really it's for you guys to just help us get that sub button ultimately so read the title when that happens because I accidentally in my last video posted the wrong thumbnail and the thumbnail said you know iron banner rank 5 fast whatever and the title of the video which was never changed and if you guys saw it all it said was is that we are live right now come check us out so I apologize for all you guys saying that oh that was clickbait blah 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 like you guys have been watching my videos I don't clickbait I pretty much tell you guys what I'm gonna talk about or what the video is about and I go on about it and if I ever do I apologize for it that's not my intention anyway so read the titles um, other than that I apologize let's get into what the heck just happened with election which is a lot more bigger you know than um, gaming and whatnot I love gaming though don't get me wrong so yes Trump is our president I don't think we should be scared. There's more so than Trump being a president. I really think it's um, two other things, right? So you have the Congress, you have the Senate, and then you have one other thing that I'm gonna talk about. So Congress, you know, ultimately mostly Republican. It's been that way for a while. Um, and it's gonna stay like that. Not a big deal, okay? Not to mention a lot of the Republican party doesn't really like Trump anyways. So unless he has some really kick-ass things to offer, they're most likely just gonna reject it. So as you guys know, the United States government has a lot of great checks and balances. Now what scared me a little bit was the fact that uh, the Republican party won the Senate. That along with the Congress, along with Trump being president, that's just a bad combination of things. Also not to mention that the Supreme Court justices are split down the middle 4-4 and now you're going to have one more appointed and it's going to be from your man, Donald Trump, and that could then affect laws in the future. I feel like there's going to be a lot of backward steps that America is going to take, which is okay. It's, you know, I, I say this all the time. There's highs and lows. When things get high, they're going to come down. When things get low, they're going to go up. So I don't want to say right away that, hey, Donald Trump is president. Now it's going to be an all time low thing. And if you guys don't already know, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to go out and say, yo, this is who I voted for. Cause I don't think that's really necessary. Now you guys can probably just figure it out. You guys are smart enough to figure it out just by the way I'm talking. But I always learned, you know, growing up as a kid, you know, not only my religion, but my family as well, always taught me to give people the benefit of the doubt. And I'll give you guys a really good analogy. For example, we, and I have a full-time job at work, 40 hours a week. Let's say I'm in the finance world. As you guys know, I graduated with my finance degree. So I have a, I'm in a professional position and I work 40 hours a week. So let's say this, I bullshit a lot at home, okay? Outside of work life, I bullshit a lot. When I say bullshit, I like to have fun. I say stupid things, you know, I'm, I'm with friends. You guys see me, I, I get really hyped on stream when we're live, when we're gaming, I get super hyped. I'll, you know, I'll cuss, I'll have fun. We'll say stupid things with friends whatever it is but when it comes to work I go to work and I go and get the job done most people they are the same I mean I don't think there's a lot of people that are the same in their work life and in their you know free time I think that most people are different so that's the way I am and I'm sure a lot of you guys are too and feel free about anything I say guys feel free to talk about it in the comments you know say hey you said something I didn't agree on or, or you know or I agree with something you said and go off of it I'd love to you know know what you guys are are feeling about this because honestly I don't want to demean the situation because I think this is a great um, I shouldn't say great I guess this, this is a very big deal right it's just a big deal uh, election day is usually always a big deal 
a lot of people are joking around. The memes are freaking hilarious. I don't know if you guys have checked out Twitter or not, but the memes are just out of this world funny. But I want to also say that what if Donald Trump actually turns out to be a kick ass president, right? Give him the benefit of the doubt. Give him a chance. They, like you haven't even given him a chance. Yes, his campaign was all over the place, but so was the other side. The other side wasn't looking too great either. I mean, honestly, this was probably the biggest joke of campaigns that we've ever seen, right? Especially in my life. Maybe some other people have seen worse, but I don't, I can't see that happening. But now that that's over now that the political drama of the campaigns going leading towards election day is over maybe donald trump now that he's satisfied with okay now we won now maybe he'll really really care about his approval rating maybe he'll care really 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 much and i'm talking like donald trump now anyways but maybe he'll do a kick-ass job Maybe he'll be like, you know what? Personal life, work life are two separate things. Let's keep it that way and let's go and get this done. So let's keep our hopes alive, guys. Honestly, there's really not a big reason to worry too much. Everything will be okay. You're still going to wake up the next day. You're going to go to your job. You're going to go to school. You're going to spend time with your family. Everything's going to be okay. All right. He's not going to go and build a wall and have the Mexicans pay for the wall. And then once they build the wall, then he's going to get them to jump over the wall back to their side. Like that's just that's those stupid talk from him and, and all the people that think that, oh, this is exactly what he's going to do. There's so many checks and balances and things that need to get passed through, reviewed, overlooked before anything happens. So let, yeah, he's going to, you know, most of the world is probably laughing at us right now. And the funniest thing I heard today, two, two things. One, the Canadian immigration site crashed because of the traffic. There's so many people coming over, looking into that, that, that crash funny funny thing second thing was the fact that harambe got eleven thousand votes lord have mercy y'all are freaking hilarious and when i say y'all i'm talking to obviously about all of america uh, for all you people that are watching this video not in america have your laugh have your fun but honestly guys this country you know i, I you, most of you guys know i'm i'm originally from pakistan i'm an american muslim so me talking like this you know, most people are like, oh my God, you should be so scared. No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I've lived in America my whole life. My parents grew up here. We started from nothing. We made ourselves here. You know, I mean, we're U.S. citizens, you know, not going to get deported or anything. Like, we're okay. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want, if you like the video, please do drop a like. Likes really help the videos out. And please check out the description and come connect with us on Twitter and Twitch. I'll see you in the next video, guys. I love you guys. Peace.